What's good with y'all? What's good, man? We back with another video. As y'all can see by the thumbnail, man, we in for a treat today. I'm about to uh, go link up, man, with an OG. He definitely he an OG from my uh, hometown, man. He got some sick rides, man. He got some sick rides, man. So I'm about to go head over, pull up on him, and uh, see what he got going on today. We're gonna see what uh, show y'all some of his rides and all that, man. Call. I want. I've been wanting to show him love anyway. He show a whole lot of love, man. Like. See, he an OG, he been doing a long time, so about to hit the road, uh, get over there, we're going to link up, we're going to check out these sick rides, man, I don't know what else I'm going to get into today, so y'all stay tuned for the vlog, enjoy the video. Alright y'all, we checking in. I'm over here. Like I said, here OG in my hometown, man. He do some sick work. Y'all know we having good conversations before we even got started. But I'm gonna show y'all his cars and whips. Uh he just told me he sold one of them. I ain't even know it. I ain't even know it been gone. But uh we're gonna show him some to y'all. Uh Tommy. Probably get him Tommy, you wanna be on camera? You cool? Alright. <laughs> y'all know we have to add. Cause I don't know all the details y'all see. Y'all saw about the B-roll footage. It's a lot of stuff on um, work and time and going into these cars. And this car got a nice little store and stuff too. Cause it got sentimental value to him. Just like Big Meats to me. So what's going on, Tommy? All right, what's up, Doc? Hey, what, so tell, tell us a little bit about the car. I mean, the year and all of that. I know it's a lot to tell, but. This is a 1966 Ford Fallon. I've been had it for 40 years. That's what my mom gave me when I was 15. I drove through high school. I did a little street racing, me and Buddy Boy, Joe Buddy racing back in our younger days. And I decided to just quit racing and start restoring it. But this this, this is my baby right here. This the uh, one. It, it won't go nowhere. <laughs> you yep. know? And uh, I just like getting out and enjoy driving it. Uh, I can drive it anywhere I want to drive. It got, it got a big block in it, 390. Got 350 gears. Um, it's just something I just tinker with all the time. You never finish a car. You always change this and change that. But the engine, I try to keep clean, much as possible. But uh, it's a 390 big block. I see everything is nice. Y'all look at look at the the small stuff. This is what we were just talking about too. Like he really, he really builds cars. Like, what, what is, what is something else on the hill? I'm probably missing. Cause you already showed me some stuff. I'm probably missing on your other cars. Now, with this one, I, a lot of people know I got a, a, a fan on my motor, and then I got a regular fan in the front. If somebody's riding and, and get in traffic, and my temperature roller, I just click this fan on to keep my engine cool. 
Okay. Just little stuff like that. I'm one of them that's, I like the little small details. Right, right. I don't want to overdress now. I, I don't, you know, so. But everybody, you know, do their cars the way they want to do. But watching Justin keep me motivated. You know, sometimes you get you get tired and, but uh, seeing him doing the stuff to his cars and all that, it keeps me going every day to come out and tinker with mine. Right, right. Yeah, he told me that. Like I said, he he hit me up. I mean, I really appreciate him big time. I won't say it on camera too. In your face while you're right here too. I know I told you over the phone, but I appreciate you. You know, they're taking time out, speak to him and all that. That mean a lot. Cause like I said I I remember his cars and stuff. And like he had he had a truck. He had like I said the wagon. I mean he done built a lot. But you know we don't get there while he on camera, man. I'm talking about we don't get there like like he an OG to me. Like I mean, and I respect everybody older me and stuff. But you don't get. A lot of people giving the game like you doing, tell me, I mean, you know, giving props or just giving, hey, look, you can do this, this will help you out or do this different. You know, just giving people the game and that's what we need to start doing. Like, exactly. people under me, y'all, like, people younger than me, that's what I try to do. Oh, yes. Uh, these young fella, they, they, they inspire me. You know I'm older, but uh, you, you can learn from younger people, too. And Justin's one of them that I, I, I look up to because I see the stuff he do to his stuff. So, you know, this... People just, if you got a desire for this, do it the way you want to do it. Not the way nobody else wants you to do it. Right, right. I do my car the way that I want to do it. And uh, same way with my, my Chevelle. Oh, yeah, let's slide on over here to this one, y'all. This is Bill. This is my Chevelle. Now, I built this car for my wife, but she don't like old school that, like I do. <laughs> so, but th th this is my other baby. Uh, this car is... Uh, been dead 15 years. 15 years. And what year? This is 60. This is 69. I thought, yeah, I thought 69. Okay. And uh, we got the Foose wheels on it, 20s. Got 355 gills, 396 big block, uh, automatic. And uh, on the hood is, it is just like the Ford. Uh, it is, it just is. I don't I'm overdress now. Yeah, everything, everything flow together in all all of his cars. And like I said, y'all saw on the B-roll and stuff, all the details and all of that. But I wanted him on here to tell y'all, cause it's a lot of little small stuff he do too. Like, hey, let, let's show him the um the buttons. You were telling me about okay. the buttons. In here on the interior, on the, on the Chevelles, the interior is normally black, but I took it him did in chrome to flow into my interior right balance it out to balance it out right right so it, it's it's just a little stuff eye that you gotta have an eye on what you want to do with your car a vision and once you got that vision you just go with it and most definitely don't don't let nobody change your vision <laughs> oh yeah so uh and, and once you're doing the cars you're gonna run into some problems you're gonna run into some things you're gonna do twice, but that's that's what building cars. Um, I like it. It's gonna always be in my blood, and all I got these young guys that keep keep me motivated. I'm going. I'm, I'm gonna keep rolling. Like how long? How long you been doing it? Like how long have you been building the car? Cause it it's it been a, a I've been minute. building cars for probably at least forty years. Forty and did. The fair line with my foul lane. The, the, so the fair lane was the first. Fair this was the first. first. Mm -hmm. The first one. And you moved from the fair lane to the. And I went to a Chevy 2 Nova wagon. It was a 63. We built it and uh, had it for about 10 years. And a uh, guy wanted the bad that I did. So we sold it and I ended up buying a Chevelle. And uh, we did the Chevelle, but I had so many cars. Yeah, I say I know you can't remember. <laughs> I had so many, you know, uh, and I don't know if I'm gonna build another one or not. Um, but if I do, it may be a truck. I don't know. I had never really built a truck, so right. I don't know yet. So, right, right. So you talking about doing the truck from the ground look like you do these these two? I want to find one about fifty percent done. Oh, okay, okay. And then go from there. Gotcha. Because if you build one from the ground up, it's three to four years yeah. in the making. 
Yeah, it's and real time consuming. Yeah, it's time consuming, and I, I, my patient ain't. <laughs> hey, we the same way, too. <laughs> ain't, ain't good no more. <laughs> well, I'm not patient either. Yeah, so it's something I can uh, get somebody to, that to help me start on. My painter, you know, he's a good guy. Uh, had to give him a shout out as uh, Fred Pope. And uh, the engine builder was uh, Jeffrey Meadows and uh, on this car. But when you're dealing with a Ford, you don't want a Chevy man really building a Ford. Building a Ford, yeah. You want a Ford man, no Ford. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm a Ford and Chevy man. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, he That's kept me. it true. Cause you know, it, it's some people get mad when they get mad about this. How you feel about that? Like, you know, it's some people they really do get mad. Like they want to keep uh forward power, forward power, and Chevy power, Chevy power. Like you know, you know, some people put the Chevys in the in the uh Fox bodies right. and stuff. Yeah, so it is. I'm one of the guy that if, if I'm if I'm doing a Ford, it's gonna be a Ford. Ford, yeah, I guess. I'm not gonna put a Chevrolet motor in a Ford. Right, right. I'm not because I think. You can you can do a Ford to compete with Chevys. Yeah, yeah. You just got to spend a little more money. Yep, that's true. You know, that's true. But you got more people is is is, is Chevy than Ford. Yeah, some people yeah. can't stand Ford, but I, I yeah. like both. I'm the same way. I don't I don't I don't got a preference. You know, and yeah. and I, I like them all. I, I like you know old schools. I like the some of the new schools. I like the box Chevy. How, how y'all guys doing the box Chevy? They look yeah. good with the big wheels and, and and you know so you know I like trucks. Yep. I like them, but yeah. Tell me, he he a true on um, he a true car guy for real, car. Uh, I'm glad you said that on camera because it's a lot of it's a lot of people too, like uh you know older older on um, generation older than us or whatever that they ain't a fan of all this stuff, but like. Like I said, Tommy a true car guy. I mean, been like that for years. I mean, before, I'm, I got the camera on them, but I mean, even before that, he always respected other people's bills yeah. and all that. Yeah. So, the time and all that going to him. We just need to come together. There's enough of us young guys and guys out here that, that do work that you really can switch out work. Yep. You know, it ain't yep. all about paying this guy and paying that guy. If you can do engine, this guy can do transmission. You know, swap out work. I always buy a dollar. Yeah, yeah. You know, I agree. Um, I got guys to come up and help me work on my cars when they need their cars worked on. They call me. I go help them. I got a guy, uh, Pat Meadows. We work on these other cars. He's just right. as knowledgeable that I am with cars. So, if Justin calls and say, hey, Unc, I need you, then I'm gone because right. I ain't looking for him to pay me. I, I won't see his product finished. And then ride. Yep. You know, I'm so, the same way. Yeah. Well, I say I like to see people out there too, and I uh, like to help or whatever. Like I said, help each other. Help each other. Help each other yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, y'all. I want to get Tommy to um talk about them, give y'all some details, or I guess the net clip. We're gonna crank them up, let let y'all hear him running and all that good stuff. So y'all just stay tuned. Y'all hear it fire right up. Sound nice too. Two times, two times the flow master. Yeah, two times. Yeah, two times. What size is off? Two and a half. Two and a half. Okay, two and a half. Two timers. I see them right there. They hit. Real nice exhaust work. Run crispy. Said Jeffrey Meadows did the uh, motor. Did a great job. He do some good work. Shout out to him. Real clean. AC and all that hooked up. Yep. Got right, right up, y'all.
y'all real good. Two times, same, same exhaust system. Two and a half, two times, y'all, same exhaust system. y'all so Tommy found the picture that's where that car started from let me get the focus y'all there you go that's where it started from so y'all can get an idea of how far it came oh yes that's crazy yeah. and look at it now that was my wagon <laughs> oh yeah look this this that wagon this that wagon i was telling y'all about let me get the focus. Hold on. Let's see. There it go, y'all. Yeah, that's that wagon. It's the one he uh he sold. It was clean too. Oh, yeah. Real nice. This. See the engine. That's when I was putting it in. See, it didn't come no air. I just had this. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Mm-hmm. Wasn't no air car. And and that's when actually right here in my driveway. <laughs> yep, doing. <laughs> we're getting there in the same way. Yeah, it was driveway. <laughs> And, I, and that's with the 22s on right there. Yeah, that's yeah. That's a bad, that's yeah. a bad boy, the 22s. I remember when he had the yeah. 22s on it, y'all. Yeah. Yep. So, I, I've been, you know, hey. Let me show y'all the air system, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were both on right there. Yep. Steve, Kurt. Both on together. That thing's clean. Oh, yeah. But check out this air system, y'all. Like I said, this was a no AC car. I was just looking it over. I see how... It's neat how everything done, but you got the compressor, then the the uh the accumulator, the accumulator is actually right there, and the pressure switch right here in the front. Y'all see how everything run up here, and you got the condenser and all of that, and the accumulator. Where is the accumulator? How did they do that? See, they probably run it. Y'all see my pain's running up under here. They hot. They, hide, oh, okay. they want too many holes, so they yep. hit them. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, let me see. Yep. Yep, they hit it. It's back there. It's nice. It's nice, y'all. Said he had it, had it done. JP Muscle. Yep, JP Muscle call. Shout out to, shout out to Johnny. Pretty much get any classic car stuff. But yeah, he had, it, had the uh, conversion done, and you said you loving it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it get hot. It get hot in Georgia, y'all. Hot in Georgia. Yeah, so. so right. But uh. All right, y'all. We taking in a look. Time we just telling about this, ain't? <laughs> if he would never pop the trunk, I would have never knew. Look at this. Yeah. And this would have. Oh, that was chrome and whatever I could take off. Yeah. <laughs> in the trunk. All this chrome. And it's not it's not overkill though, like it's not overkill, it, it flow. It flow good. That's what I like too, y'all. Like now getting into a building, actually building car cause I said before, I didn't build cars. I used to just throw stuff together. <laughs> yeah, I ain't really getting the little knickknack stuff, yeah. but now I be looking at all of it. Now my Chevelle, I didn't chrome nothing in the trunk. I had everything painted. Painted. And uh with a mat. It make it look good. Clean when you open it. Right, at. right. Cause I do like to go to shows sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But other than that, I like driving. So, so you like driving, enjoying? Don't let them sit too long. Oh yeah. Don't let them sit. Get out and enjoy. Them. So that's what I do. Me and my wife. Right, right. Yeah. And, and yeah, she hers in there, y'all. And has how many miles? She got a brand new Camaro 2010, and she got six thousand miles on it. Six thousand miles, yeah. <laughs> Ten years, it's still like a new car. It's still like a brand new car. It's still like a new car, so. Yep. Pretty red. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm back at the house. Uh, still got got back from uh Tommy house. Want to get that video done. Show him some love, cause he always showing love. Y'all see, he real. I mean, he dropped some good uh some good knowledge on this video, I should say. And man, his, his car is just always top notch. 
I mean, he, he put a lot of time and money and blood and sweat and tears into every bill he does or whatever. So, I mean, that was an honor for me, for well, for him allowing me to come film me cars or whatever and, you know, do the little details, uh, video of it and show y'all all the ins and outs and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I got that video for y'all. Pretty sure uh, I'll be going back over there getting some more stuff and all that. And all of that good stuff. So, Tommy, you know, I know you're watching. I appreciate it again. Uh, appreciate everything you do, the phone calls and all that good stuff. Uh, it means a lot to me. And, uh, yeah, that's it, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I catch y'all. I, I should catch y'all tomorrow. I should catch y'all tomorrow. I should have one back to back. I'm trying to stay on the daily uploads, but like I said, all my stuff down right now. But everything about to be in rotation because I'm about to make some moves. So, Y'all just stay tuned. I appreciate everybody watching. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out.